Hi guys, welcome to my channel. So this is gonna be a reading for the sign of Pisces. Pisces, my readings are timeless, so when you see them is when you want to hear them. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. Also, please don't forget to hit the post notification bell so you can get alerts when my videos are posted. Pisces, thank you guys for donating towards my channel energetically by liking, commenting, sharing, subscribing, and also watching these videos. So Pisces, let's get into this reading. So I felt like a little late night reading and I'm up, so you're up and everybody want to give you the late night tea, but I'm going to give you the late night give you the juice okay so let's find out what's happening all right so we have six for choices we got the delicate fairy and her ferrets the numbers 24 and we have nobility 42 honor high standards and idealistic so somebody may be 42 years old or 24 years old 42 24 so okay all of these things add up to six so six, six, and six. So your birthday could be February the 24th, March the 6th, and then we have 666 on the table. So a synchronistic number popping up again. And this has been a theme for the last past couple of readings, if y'all haven't noticed. For some reason on my desk, each one of these numbers are lining up. So choices. Um... Let's see. So we have feeling blocks and restraint. So somebody trying to hold you back, hinder you, um, or you holding yourself back. You could potentially have a block or some type of restraint on yourself. So that could be a thing um, that you're dealing with at this moment in time. Also, let's see here. We um, are feeling restraint means holding holding yourself back. So why are you feeling restrained or held, holding yourself back? Okay, so maybe just need a little conversation, which I want to talk about. Because again, everybody wants to give you the tea. I'm giving you the juice. So the juice is they can't hold you back. The only thing is holding you back could potentially be yourself. So you got to figure out how to get out of the little uh, this little rut that you're in. All right, the delicate fairy and her ferrets. Change is natural, and yes, it can hurt. Oh, so that could be the reason why. Because things are changing. You're leveling up. You're ascending. You could potentially be going through ascension symptoms, and that could be the reason. And right now, as you're going through ascension, everything is changing, and so you could potentially be trying to you know, do something that maybe you want to do, not realizing that now you're under the guidance or the guidelines of you know, elevation, and sometimes that is like a, you just got to wait till that's over, and then everything starts to flow, okay? So, it's like an upgrade. You're being upgraded, and during your upgrade, it's like when your phone is upgrading, it, you know, powers either powers off, or it stays, you know, to where the upgrade's got to take place first. So, that could potentially be a thing, and if you're trying to do something outside of the upgrade, then, okay, I get it. Um, Either way, change is good and it's natural. And yes, it can hurt. Um, so dealing with fairy energy. Then we have ascension. You ascending to higher levels. Nobility. That's like kings and queens. Um, high honor. So you are ascending to a higher elevation, a higher status, a higher set of standards. When you know better, you do better. So you are now being uh, being elevated to another level okay so ascension symptoms dealing with those just let the upgrades take place rest and that could be the thing because some of us are not used to you know being able to do that we have this that or the third work kids um family um and you may not be able to just take time off to deal with whatever the situation is but and the situation is you're dealing with upgrades. Your body has to do the thing that it has to do. And you have to listen to your body in order for everything to align and work out. So that is just probably um, your body saying it needs to do this while you're doing that. And so you're fighting against it when it's basically you just need to let go and let God or relax and let it happen. Like go with the flow. Go with the flow of the ascension symptoms, okay? 
All right, let me see what this is, because since that did it, it was almost like a hesitation here. Oh, y'all, y'all got somebody discussing y'all. So, we got a King of Swords here, we got an Eight of Swords here, and we got a Three of Pentacles here. So, one of two things happening. Either you have a King of Swords discussing with some other people, teamwork, collaboration, how to try to hold you back, or why are you getting ascension? Why are we, we was trying to hold this person back. How are they ascending? So team meeting, what happened? Because this person is still ascending. I thought y'all did everything y'all could do to stop this person from ascending. How is this person still ascending? Or the other thing is, you got a queen, uh, a, a queen of swords. Okay, somebody communicating, but that's not a queen of swords. It's a king of swords. Um, okay, well that took another turn. So now let me tell y'all the other part. Okay, so a king of swords that is trying to help you get freed up, and they had to go to some other people to talk about it. So depending upon your your situation, how it feels. Thinking things through from all perspectives. So however it feels you, either way, some people linking up either to help you or to hold you back. Um, because I said there this is the king, and I said something about queen. This could be a masculine and feminine energy. And when there's a masculine and feminine energy, either they are part of the LGB or they're balanced themselves out. They have balanced themselves out. But then there's also a thing about the man, B-I-T-C-H-E, you know what I'm saying, S. So you know your story. You know how it's going down because that's four different versions of the coin. Either way, take a heart resonate for you. We not we're gonna put them back because them King of Swords lately has been getting on my nerves. Like it makes me want to side eye them real real quick. Okay. Um, why? I, like literally, all I hear right now is somebody saying they're not following the rules. Follow your own rules. There is no rules over here. Okay. There is no rules. The rules are made between you and God. Whatever God is telling you to do, that's the rules. Whatever these other people talking about, their rules don't count. Their rules don't count. So you have been ascended. If God be for you, who be against you? You are ascending because God is allowing you to ascend. These people don't realize they have nothing to do with you. Everybody wants to insert themselves into a situation. They thought they had something to do with you. They thought they were the assignment. You were their assignment. You're not my assignment. You're your mom's assignment. I'm not your assignment. I'm not your business. So that's the thing. They think that they're over you. Meanwhile, they're the footstool. They thought that you had to sit at their table. Meanwhile, God prepared you your own table. So the test was theirs. They failed. When God told them to either help you or to allow you into whatever it was and they didn't do it, it wasn't your assignment. It was their assignment. That was their test. It wasn't your test. They thought that they could hold you back or hinder you in a certain form or fashion because they thought that they were in power. No, God is in control. And when God told them to let you in, that was it. That was all. So somebody realizing they fucked up because how was this person still ascending and we didn't let them in? How was this person still ascending and we blocked them in every form and fashion? We, we kept trying to block them. It's new stuff steady happened for this person. How was this person getting the signals? How was this person? Who is guiding this person? So now people stressed out. What you stressed out for? Ain't no needing you being stressed out. You was the boss and, and you was so haughty and so all of this other extraness when y'all thought y'all were in control of a situation. Now y'all realizing y'all not in control and God's really in control. 
And when God be for you, who could be against you? And when there's ascending happening and ascensions happening anyway, and you were not needed and tables are being built and your table was not needed. And now your table's being turned over because karma was what it was. Karma was what it was. Karma's for everybody. Good, bad, ugly, or indifferent, karma is for everybody. So now it's the uh-oh uh moment. <laughs> it's the uh-oh moment. Uh-oh, we, we messed up. Yes, you did. Because God is building a different table. So them being made a footstool. God prepared you your own table. You didn't need to sit at their table. It's the thing that I keep um, posting, reposting. It's on my Instagram. And it says, be less concerned about the table that you're sitting at, that you're being asked to sit at, and be more concerned whether or not God told you to sit there or not. Because people will call you over to sit at your table, at their table. But does that necessarily mean that God told you to sit there? It's the same when all money ain't good money. All situations, regardless of what they look like, are not good situations. So somebody may be able to put you in position, but at what cost? You got to know that God is setting you in that position or putting you in that position or setting you at that seat or at that table. So you ascending to high honor. Change is good. And yes, it can hurt. It's necessary. So the choices that you make right here. There's choices that you're going to have to make. And you could potentially be feeling blocked behind whatever was happening with those people or you trying to fight against whatever God is trying to allow. You need to just let it go with the go with the flow, because if you're going through ascension sick symptoms and you never had that and you don't know what it is. You could feel like you're blocked. Meanwhile, you're not. That could also be why that. Um, Eight of Swords was there as well. You feel like you're block restrained, but you're not. You're just being upgraded. And your phone, as you know, when your phone upgrades, what happens with it? So fresh perspective. New, You have to change your perception or your perspective of the situation. All right, so we have a page of swords here. New ideas, curiosity, alert, a thirst for knowledge, um, restlessness, spying, news, information, messages, Contracts, nego negotiations. Um, they saying think before you act, which is also part of your choices. Um, but also understanding that it's what you want to do. God did not give them your assignment. He's not going to give them your assignment. Your assignment is strictly for you. Your pathway, your journey is strictly for you. So you got to know what it is and make sure you're hearing that. So Nobody can block you, okay? Just know that all freaking blockage spells have been lifted, cast back. These people are not even allowed to do that. So half of them don't even have no more magic or energy anyway because of the fact they've been doing too much, doing the same thing over and over again. That's why they're trying to go a little uh, other ways and try to figure out what is it, what is, what it is that you're doing and how you're doing it because they don't have the magic to see it anymore anyway. So people can be scrying and this other stuff. Either way, trying to figure out, and that's messages going back and forth between them, them, you know, text messages. How's this happening? What's that happening? You know, like I said, collaboration, teamwork, trying to figure out how did that happen, but also messages for you. So make sure that you're being mindful of your email, your mail and all that type of stuff, because there's new contracts and things being renegotiated for you um, as you're ascending and as you're leveling up. We have the star here, hope, calm, healing, faith, purpose, finding your direction, okay? Spirituality, good fortune, good omens, new, like, rejuvenation. So you'll feel a lot better after the ascension symptoms are over. And also, I'm being told congratulations and kudos to you because you didn't follow what everybody else did. Like I said, everybody's doing late night tea and we got the juice for you. We don't follow what they do. We trend set, trend set, start the line leader. It's leading by example. Just because everybody else goes one way don't necessarily mean that that's the right way. So people are wary because why are you breaking the rules? How are you being allowed to break the rules? Because there is none. 
spirituality, there is none. It's between you and God, you and your spirit, you and however you feel. People want to come around long and put up boundaries and borders and say this, that, or the third. We don't follow to that. We don't subscribe to that. Because why do we have to? You don't have to. Everything's new. Creative opportunities, new messages, information. Like I said, lots of information, not so news. How is this person breaking the, the borders and the boundaries and the this and that? Because there was none. If you keep letting people try to put you in a box, they're going to keep trying to restrict you. Let them restrict themselves. You're a free energy. You have free will. You don't have to subscribe to any of that. This is not structured religion. This is between you, God, and your pathway. People keep posting all these memes and saying all this stuff. It's this, that, or that. Well, you follow that. I'm going to go this way. And I'm going to create my own path because I don't have to subscribe to that. The things that they're talking about, I don't fit in. I'm not the black sheep of nobody's family. My family loves me. Yes, there's some people in there that gets on my nerves. And yes, there could be people that are doing whatever hexes, curses, this, that, and the third behind my back. They won't do it in my face. I promise you that. So I'm not going to put on a suit that don't fit me. That's a wolf in sheep's clothing. Somebody that's conniving. No, I'm going to keep on my armor of God and I'm going to keep my head held high and I'm going to keep walking this thing out. I don't fit into the box that they're trying to say, oh, if you're this, then you're the chosen one. No, I've been able to manifest my whole entire life since I was a child. I didn't have to elevate to this or to that or eat this way or do that or work out or that. I didn't, I had to do none of that. And my manifestations continue to go, continue to flow. And they're going to still continue to flow. And I'm going to still listen to God. and I'm going to do what I want to do outside of what they're in the direction they're trying to take me in. I don't, I don't need that. I don't need what they're talking about. So be, be mindful that you can do anything that you want, Okay. Also, don't let your emotions get in the way of anything that you want to do. So don't let your emotions stop you or hold you back. Um, because remember, Pisces, people project a lot of energy. And you can also embody and encompass all the zodiacs. So be mindful of what's your energy, what's your energy, and what's somebody else's energy. So this is where you have to check in with yourself. And this is as you ascend, you become a new person. Change is natural, it's good, and yes, it can hurt. And this is why you have to take time to get to real understand and realize who you are after every ascension, after every elevation, because you're different every time you get an upgrade. Your phone be different every time it gets an upgrade. It's just a fact. So you moving into high honor, high standards, and them putting you into a higher ranking or a higher elevation, this is when you know better, you do better. So this is also like now when there are certain things that other people can get away with that you can't get away with because now if you wrong somebody in the wrong way, you know that there's consequences to your actions. And that's just a fact. For every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. You know yourself, if somebody tells a lie to you today, they get exposed today. Because these are the things that I have spoken over my life and my manifestations are happening quicker and quicker. So as you ascend, things start to happen faster and faster for you. You just have to sort out which ones they are because, you know, again, as changes happen, you gain um, new gifts, new talents, and that type of thing. So this is where this come, this card comes in at. So we got preparation. We also have uh, finding your inspiration and take action. So what inspires you? What inspires you to create? What inspires you to manifest? What inspires you? What gets you, your juices flowing, okay? Because <laughs> this is the juice, all right. Um, preparation, prog process, progress, foresight, enterprise, activity, expansion, overseas opportunities, and moving forward. So there are no restrictions. There are no blocks on you other than the fact that as you're as upgrading, then there's a pause because you have to get new used to the new uh 
the new upgrades, okay? So that's the thing. But as you also go through that, then you can start to maneuver how you want to once you realize what's happening. So this could be somebody new that's going through this, or this could be somebody that is advanced. But now as you're more advanced, the downloads are coming faster and the changes are coming quickly um, and the movements are more swift, okay? So either way, still having to get used to whatever's happening and being mindful that karma is for everybody. Good, bad, ugly, or indifferent. Karma is for everybody. Um, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. So everything is, those things are lessons and you just have to find a silver lining in the situation, all right? So we have uh, finding balance in your life to build your success. So balance need, being needed in order for you to be able to work both sides, the best of both worlds, multiple priorities, more news. So lots of news happening this week, lots of information um, being spread. We got management, juggling, adaptability, negotiations, balancing decisions, and weighing out your options because there's choices that you have to make in the, the next phase or the thing that you want to do. So just being very aware of it and understanding that huh, this is going to be good. This is going to be very much amazing for you because again, change is natural and it's good. This is elevation. Um, evolution. So growth, expansion, Pisces for you. So this is the reading. Hopefully it helps. Thank you guys for coming to my channel. Like, comment, share, subscribe. And I hope you enjoyed the juice. Go with God.